Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in to the live. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Let me put my phone right here. I got it plugged up. I guess I can unplug it. I'll plug it up if I need to plug it up. How about that? Let me share this out right quick. Thank you all for coming on in. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Sharing this out right quick, guys. Sharing it out right quick. How is everybody doing? It's cold outside. Hello, all the Joe. Oh my goodness, she's watching the ads. She is watching the ads. Yes, all right, all right. Hey, are you in from the ads, Ola Joe? Hello, hello, hello. I'm so used to premieres, I was getting ready to start typing in the chat. <laughs> I forgot I could just talk. <laughs> I don't have to type. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. How have you been? How have you been? You have a crow. Really? Oh, man. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Woohoo. Yes. Probably because I've been watching so many of your videos. You know, sometimes whatever the person, whosever channel it is, whatever you're watching, the algorithm picks up on it and it'll display that kind of stuff too. How you been, Ola Joe? I said I need to, next year, I hope to have um, larger, better fall garden. Because um, I didn't know that. It's so cool. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And next year, I hope to have a better, larger fall garden. So I'll be out in the garden way more than I am now. Because I don't have very much out there. My turnip greens are growing good. I thought I was going to have enough to harvest just a little bit of them. Just for like a meal today. Just like for one meal. Not a big pot of greens. I don't have enough yet. Not for the way we eat greens. And I want to give me a couple of fruit trees. I'm getting ready to order those now. Um, sitting here crocheting a hat. Almost done with it. All right. All right. Yes. I said I need to start going live over here more. So that people will know that I'm on. Because <laughs> don't nobody know I'm on. <laughs> They're not used to it. I don't have the crowd that I had. That I have. I should say on um, Chef and More. So I said, I need to get over here more. So I'm going to do more lives over here, probably around this time, because it's just a good time for me, just like it was over on Chef and More. I'm through with my day. Um, you know what? I still, I'm in my, I'm in the ads here on my phone as well. And I'm going to wait. Hello, Fazbear. Oh my goodness. Wow. How you been, Fast? How is everything going over there in Ireland? Oh my goodness. Wow, I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, I'm still in ads. I'm still in my own ads over here. I haven't passed by them yet. Yes, how have you been, Fazbear? Welcome in, welcome in. Yes, I'm gonna be talking about cleaning our gardening tools. My daughter made us collard greens for Veterans Day. Most places wanted us to dine in on Veterans Day, but it's a, <laughs> I know, right? I don't blame you. I don't, but I'm barely doing something for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go pick up the things I need for it tomorrow, but I'm just, you know, immediate family. I told my kids, you know, if they wanna stop by, whatever. Hello, Mama Ray Ray, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in, thank you for coming, thank you for coming. I am gonna be talking about um, the gardening tools. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer for some more people to come in. Doing good, Fast Bear, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. How is everything going over there in Ireland? How is everything going over there in Ireland? I'm trying to see this. I keep getting ready to type. I'm, I've been doing so many premieres, guys, that 
right now I keep forgetting I can actually speak. <laughs> I don't have to type. I can actually speak. Mm -hmm. Finally got back to uploading, but my stay on lockdown right through. You know, every place might. Well, we're not on lockdown here. And they have not made any changes, no major changes here, uh, with the exception of mandatory mask. Um, and we're staying in what they have already had was phase three. That's staying in place. So they're just not opening up gyms anymore. Um, bars and dining in uh, places have to close at 10 things like that, but that's been going on since, what is this, November? I want to say sometime in August when they thought they would be able to end phase three or, or God, I don't know if they have a phase four or when they end phase three, it's like over with for them. Detroit, Michigan is on lockdown. Oh, wow, really? When did that start, Mama Ray Ray? We're on phase five. They're saying we'll be on phase three for Christmas. Okay. We're having Thanksgiving ourselves. I have too much to do on the earth before the Lord calls me. So I'm not going out there. <laughs> You're going to have to scoop me up because this is stupid. It is. It is. It is. Well, I'm happy. You know what? Um, the alert came on at 6 o'clock Eastern. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? My husband was kind of in that position. He's like, I don't want nobody to come over to have Thanksgiving dinner or anything. But I told him, which is true. I said, well, the only people we were gonna have over anyway was our kids and their significant others, which is only two of them have significant others. And the thing about it is, they're over here always anyway. But he's saying, because they're not all over here at the same time. I'm like, that doesn't make sense to me. If one comes in and one go out, they still here. If one come today and one come tomorrow, they still here. <laughs> My oldest son and his fiance are always over here. They was over here a couple days ago with the babies. My youngest daughter and her boyfriend been over here recently. My youngest son live here. So I'm like, why can't they just come eat? They come and <laughs> they in and out always, they in and out anyway. So that's the only people I'm having over here. Uh, so I said, okay, yes. So you said the alert, did they sound some kind of alarm or something? You said the alert came. I'm going to share you. Oh, thank you so much. It doesn't make sense. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, over Joe. So I said, you know what? I might as well cook. They might as well just come eat. They keep coming anyway. They, those are the only people that come, but they've been coming. We all went over to my oldest daughter's house in uh, the end of August. <laughs> my channel is kind of running up views, which is nice. And I'm 15 now since November. Oh, happy birthday. Snap Fazbear. Wow, Fazbear. I think you were 13 when you first came to my channel on Shacklemore. Wow, it's my birthday. And even though we're on level five lockdown, we still have school. Oh, wow. Happy birthday. Wow, that's awesome. Chef, I like your t shirt. It's cute. Thank you. Yes, I have merch, guys. I have merch. My merch is in. I have another one. Another supporter bought one, a pretty green one. And it's on my community tab. I'm going to get that. It says Scaredy Cat Gardener container crop. Scaredy Cat Gardener. 10% off through, through the middle of December for everything. But guys, I picked this slogan because this is truly me. I probably should have named my channel that. OMG, I just checked. I hit 10K views. What? For everything or on one video, fast bear. I run from, from from everything in the garden. Don't let me see no worm or nothing. Now I know I have to go back, get my bravery up, and get it. But in the meantime, you should see me running. 
So this slogan fits me. <laughs> and I said, you know what? I'm not the only one because I saw Green Organic Glove when she first saw that hornet worm. She was like, I gotta get it, but I'm scared. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I'm not the only one. Yes. Hello, Karen. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in to the live. Thanks for coming, Karen. Yes. Thank you for coming in. How are you doing? Total. Okay. All right, Fazbear. Good, good. Awesome, awesome. That's awesome and amazing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Wow. Okay. Yes. So how many people do I have in here so far that is guard, is that does some type of gardening or planting something sometime? But 1K of those are on one video. All right, Fazbear. You're doing good. That's real good. That is real good. Come on now. I'm going to tell you my, uh, do I need to plug it up? My, my computer went out. I don't know if I need to plug it up or if it just hibernated on me. I'm sitting here with it. I don't see why it would. Let me see. Oh, one second. Let me log back in. Okay, I'm back. Karen says, hey, Mama Rayway, sorry I missed your live for 1K of those. Okay, hello, Karen in the kitchen. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me see. Okay. Yes. You are fine, Karen. How have you been? Friends, this is old container crops is less than 10 ahead of me. Oh, wow. Wow. That's all right. Hello, Janice. Hey, I find, yes, you did. How are you? How are you? How are you? Welcome into the live. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Janice. Hey, yes, 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 yes. In the, Mama Ray Ray says, hello, Janice Hyman. Yes, awesome sauce. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, guys, I'm going to wait for a few more people to get in here, but then I am going to go over our gardening tools. But while we wait, let me ask something. Who... Who cleans their gardening tools on the regular, like when you use them? Yes, Karen says, I've been good, just got home from a four-day trip to Las Vegas. Oh, you have a reason to be tired. You have a reason to be tired. Wait, I read it wrong. It's 70 ahead. Oh, okay. That's still, that's, uh, I'm not in my own top chat. That's still... That is still pretty close, Fazbear. That is still pretty close. And why is my phone so hot? What's going on over here? What's going on over here? So, uh, Janice, you clean yours every time? Oh, do I wipe mine off? I wipe off my shears after I use them. Okay, good, 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 good. But you guys know that you should be sanitizing them because wiping them off just won't do. Just won't do. I haven't grind since March this year. Oh, that's a long time. Look like you stopped grinding when, when things shut down. <laughs> definitely clean my shovels because they are easy to rust so yes so yeah each time yes yes well guys you need to take those tools and rinse them off outside but then wipe them down with alcohol regular rubbing alcohol nothing fancy get you some alcohol and a rag just pour a little on there and wipe them down because Water is not, if you cut something, prune something, dig something up, and it's a diseased plant, rinsing it off is not going to help. And then if you go back to another plant to prune it or trim it up, you're going to possibly spread whatever that was from one plant to the next. Yes. 
So you got to get some alcohol, guys, and wipe them down with it. And if you have anything sticky on them, I have some, um, these little pruners here, they don't hardly, they, they just, they're very, still very sharp, but they have something sticky on them from one of those plants. And they do not just go like that anymore. So now I've got to get some goo gone, gooby gone, and clean them with. Then I have to use the alcohol and dry them off. But you guys need to start using alcohol so you can preserve them. And don't, that's another thing, you have on your gloves, whatever you did in that garden is on your gloves. So you're touching the handles. So if you're not cleaning the handles and you're not cleaning your gloves, you're still spreading it. And honestly, I wasn't doing it either. Um, but somehow my channel got a lot more people recently that watch most. That's probably because they're at home, Fazbear. Probably because they're at home. I didn't, I wasn't doing that either. Hello, Aura. Thank you for coming in. Hello, Aura. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Thank you for coming in. I wasn't doing that every time either, cleaning it with alcohol and everything. But honestly, what's going on right now brought it to my attention. And I said, you know what? If you have to change your rubber gloves that you may wear out in public right now, then because you may touch something else and spread something, especially if it lives on it, same thing could be happening in the garden and you're cross-contaminating your plants. So you absolutely need to clean them off every single time. And I know it can be a pain because sometimes it's like, you just want to go in the house. And the gloves. Now, um, those Thanksgiving mimosas, don't they? Hello, Taylor. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing, Taylor? I'm doing good, Brandon. I always call you Taylor first, then I change it to Brandon. <laughs> Welcome into the live. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Yes, 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 yes. I did not clean mine off always, but I do now. So, and you just need some alcohol. If you can find the alcohol, I would suggest you get a couple of bottles because alcohol is kind of scarce right now. But rinse them off outside. And that's another thing. When you harvest whatever it is, I don't care if it's a handful or a barrel full, before you bring your food in the house, you need to take your garden hose and wash it off outside. If you have a big harvest of things, like I saw Aura, Aura always have her big harvest, I would suggest something as simple as a laundry basket, just a simple round laundry basket that you see in the dollar store and putting it all in there and rinsing it off. That way you will ensure that when you bring it in the house to really give it a washing, that you won't be bringing in any insects, something that's caught on a leaf, um, any any one that might have a little mildew on it or anything. You just want to rinse it off. I'll get all that initial dirt off of it outside. Leave that outside. And then when you, because when you come inside, you still have to clean again. But that's why you know, a lot of times when you buy uh, vegetables and fruit from the grocery store, you still have to, of course, you have to bring it home and clean it. But some of that vegetables and fruit can be dirtier than others. So even though you're rinsing it off outside, you're still going to bring some dirt inside. At least you're not bringing all of it inside. So that's really, really, really important. <laughs> yes. So make sure, uh, Fast Bear. It's the situation gives anything to the world. I'll be teaching people how to properly sanitize. Yes, yes, yes. You have to properly sanitize. And the gloves, you know, if you even just Google um, about your gardening gloves, and some people don't clean theirs at all. Some people never clean their gardening gloves. Some people wash them, but they really need to be cleaned after every use, especially if you're dealing with a diseased plant because you're going to transplant whatever that is and sometimes 
we have to pick up things we don't want to pick up. And that's why you have on gloves like worms, uh, tomato hornet worms, those big giant green ugly things. See, that's why I got this t-shirt that says Scaredy Cat Gardener because I'm terrified of those things. I'm actually terrified of everything in the garden because if I'm out there, <laughs> y'all should see me. If I am out there in the garden and the wind blow, <laughs> I'm serious. The wind blow, okay, so I got my back to something and the wind blow and that bush or tree brush up against me, y'all should see me getting out of Dodge. <laughs> what was that? All right, Ola Joe. Thank you, Ola Joe. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all should see me getting out of Dodge. I'm like, I don't know how how I'm going to go out. So when I got started to do my merch, I said, you know what? I am scared of everything. I'm going to make a scaredy cat gardener because that is exactly what I am. Yes, and I'm not the only one because I know a lot of people out here scared of stuff in the garden. Don't let a snake come out. Come on now. Come on, don't let a snake come out or something. <laughs> and I'm not even gardening in the ground like that. Um, I hope to, within the next year or two, I'm looking to probably move and I want a large flat yard so that I can also build a raised garden. Uh, so I want a raised bed as well, but I want my raised bed to be a truly raised bed. Uh, it still won't be in the ground. It'll be a raised bed, it'll just be, much wider and longer so I can grow things like melons. That's what I'm after, after the watermelons and the cantaloupe and pumpkins. I'm after that stuff. Yes, that's that's me. That's why I had to buy a shirt. Yes, and thank you so much, Buttercream, for, for your purchase. You were my first one. Yes, you were my first one, my first purchase. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. I know that's me. Everything scares me. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I went out there. Janet says, can I ask where to get seeds from this lake? Yes. Oh, that's another thing that um, I need to probably show you. Seeds, um, I have heard that, I don't, I'm not sure where you live at, Janice, but I have heard that Lowe's have seeds in right now. However, seeds are very hard to come by right now for two reasons. One, we are right at winter. And two, uh, because of everything that's going on, they're being bought up rapidly. But you can also go online. There is um, um, Seeds of Italy. Is These are online places. They do have catalogs they will send you out, but you can always shop online as well. Seeds of Italy, uh, Gurneys, um, I want to say Burpees. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. I, I know Ola Jo uses Burpees, and she says she'll be right back. I'll ask her. I think it's Burpees. Um, Stark Brothers is a good one for like fruit trees, and so is Isons. Isons is good for fruit trees. Um, but what I'm trying to encourage people to do as well is to start saving seeds. A lot of things you can grow if you just save the seeds and dry them out because that's all you buy. If you if you dry them out and save them properly. Let me get these. I want to show you all something. I want to show you all something right quick. I've got everything on here so far that I have done with the exception of my lemon. Um, I'm in zone seven seeds and canning jars and supply. Good luck on the canning jars. I have been trying to find a canner. I want a canner and a dehydrator so bad. And even on Amazon, they're sold out, except for the super expensive ones, which, come on now, anybody got the money <laughs> to be buying nothing super expensive? But uh, I'm starting to save my seeds. I'm not going to tilt this too much. I hope you guys can see this. I'm starting to save my seeds. These are green peppers. <gasps> I finally have found a purple pepper. 
this is these are jalapeno seeds i took those out these are some seeds that i completely took out now this is another method of saving seeds out of peppers that you just leave them on leave them on the top half of the pepper when you pull it out and let them dry as you can see this side is starting to dry out really good and then when they dry out you can take them off when you take them off you want to put them in a plastic bag make sure you label the plastic bag put them in a plastic bag label it and put them in a cool place like your refrigerator don't leave them out anywhere warm or they may start to germinate you don't want to do that now i will start planting I want to plant all of these seeds. And guys, that's something else that I'm going to do on my channel. Um, especially as I get more subscribers. I hope to be able to do this by spring. Um, I want to have, like I'm doing this, I don't exactly know how to do this. But I need to figure it out. I want to start doing um, like a live or something. Um every other week or maybe once a week where we're trading seeds where it's like a seed trade live where we can trade seeds because somebody might have some okra and they might have an abundance eventually i'm i'm going to save the seeds out of every pepper that i have i have a whole bag of miniature peppers i buy them all the time because i love peppers of all kinds Sorry, I had to. Oh, no worries. Thank you for coming in, Brandon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, all right, Fazbear, your headphones cut off. So I'm going to save all the seeds from these. So eventually, and I buy peppers all the time because I like these just small mini ones, even at a snack. I just like them. I also like them in my omelets. I also like them uh, in my salads. I'm going to have more seeds than I can plant. So somebody might say, well, I, I would like a red bell pepper seed or a red, or a, I've had problems finding the purple seeds. And this wasn't really purple. It was a purple one and it was a mini one. I got three of them. I'm saving every last seed I can get out of those peppers. And so eventually I'll have, and that's another thing, Janice, these seeds, once they're dried out, will last two to four years. So, when I plant them next year, prayerfully, they will grow in abundance and I can start saving the seeds from what I grow. Then when I trade them, I can say, well, you know what, you can, ne no matter where, you, whether you buy seeds, trade seeds or whatever, if somebody give you some seeds, you can never say uh, or guarantee that they're going to germinate. It, that's just the roll of the dice. But um, eventually, no, computer, stop it. My computer keeps hibernating. I'm gonna sit these seeds aside right quick. I got to log it back. I don't know why it's doing this to me today. But eventually I'll have way more seeds than I can do uh, anything with. And that goes for other things. Um, so Janice, that's one thing you can do. Now you won't be able to use those seeds right away because they've got to dry out, but they typically dry out in a couple of weeks. So depending on what you're getting ready to plant. Now, uh, some things do better when you have, when you're starting from the little plant. Um, but one reason why I wanted to do this was because even when I grew up and my father, oh, you in now. Okay, Ola Jo, I was just showing all the seeds that I have saved that I am harvesting from all my peppers. And I found the purple one, Ola Joe, mini purple one. I got three of them. I'm gonna keep all the seeds from these. And um, I'm getting ready to harvest seeds from my lemons. Um, and I just wanna see what, you know, will grow from that and what won't. I'm going to still buy seeds too, but as many seeds as I can start harvesting, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not throwing away any seeds from anything anymore. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I don't care what it is. I'm going to learn to how to dry it out and how to harvest it. Um, and then if I start getting fruit from it or vegetables from it, then um, I won't have to worry about how you just said, where can you get seeds from? That's why I'm doing it. So I won't have to say that. But check 
It's really hard right now, but online might be your best bet. But a lot of places that I have gone, uh, oh, and Joe, is that, is that, uh, what, uh, Janice was asking me where to buy seeds from, and I was giving her online places because they're hard to find right now in stores. And I told her, can you harvest kale green? Yes, you can. I think you have to wait until it uh, goes to seed, like it bolts, and you collect the seeds from it. You have to grow some, let it bolt, and get the seeds from it. And I don't know exactly how to do that. I tried it with some lettuce, and I never saw any seeds. <laughs> So either I did something wrong or I don't know what I was looking for. Hey, Bree, welcome in, welcome in. But yes. Oh, awesome. The purple one. Yes, yes, yes. That is great. Yes. And I would Joe, what I was saying was earlier when you were breaking old Joe. Um, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Um, I want to start probably by spring. I want to start doing lives where they're like um uh, seed trade lives where people can come into the lives and you know if you have kohlrabi <laughs> if i had known what it was i probably would have tried to grow it <laughs> i didn't have a clue it was scary look so i told you i'm scared of everything that's why you got that kohlrabi because it's scary looking i don't want to grow any scary looking food so anyway this has been a rough day today well we're gonna say some prayers for you Chef, are you sleepy? <laughs> no, I'm not sleepy, Mama Ray Ray. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, so that we can trade seeds, too, because I think that would be a, a good idea. And I was just reading the other day about uh, saving seeds from tomatoes as well. Unqualified live player, drop a like for you. Thank you so much. Welcome in to the live. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Oh no, Bree. Oh no. Make sure you cancel any cards or anything that was in there. Make sure you cancel everything. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Domo. How are you? How are you? How are you? Burpee. That's what it was. I wanted to make sure I had it right. I think I said Burpee. Burpee Seeds is a good place to buy seeds online. Burpee. Yes, I also told her, Ola Joe, about uh, gurneys and um, Seeds of Italy. Now, the, the, the one that's called Seeds of Italy, the seeds do not come from Italy. That's just the name of the place. They actually, I think, uh, they actually had to put that on their website because I think a lot of people were thinking, well, I'm getting seeds from Italy. No. <laughs> I'm doing good, doing good, Don Mo. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I'm, I'm getting ready to, Mama Ray Ray, I'm getting ready to save. I got some good lemons in there. They are tasty. They are juicy. They are plump. They are everything. They are all that in the bag of chips. So tomorrow I'm going to, because I just used my last piece of this lemon. Because I use lemon in a lot. I use lemon to cook with. I use lemon in my tea. And I drink tea all day. Well, not all day long anymore. I used to drink it all day long. But unfortunately, I don't drink it all day long anymore. But at any rate, I am going to cut that lemon open. I'm going to get all the seeds out. Now, the one thing about the seeds, hello, Nix Fix. Did someone say tea? Yes, I was just saying I use tea and lemon in my tea and I drink tea all day long. I don't drink tea all day long anymore because I'll be having Invisalign and I'm not supposed to drink anything but water as long as I have them in. And I'm supposed to have them in 22 to 23 hours per day. So that's going to limit my tea drinking. That's a sad thing, but that's okay. Um, yes, yes, Nick's Picks. Love tea, love tea. Yes, that's my favorite. But I'm going to, uh, Chef, are you growing me a lemon tree? Hot dog. Yes, I am growing a lemon tree. Yes, I am. But the thing about the lemon tree is I was reading upon harvesting seeds. As soon as you take them out of the lemon, you need to plant them in dirt. So, 
Um, I have more of those containers. My stevia is doing really, really good. It is, uh, I had about 18 plants. I think so far about seven or eight of them are doing really well. I have two that there's like no evidence of any new growth, but uh, I'm going to take that size container that I have and tomorrow, and matter of fact, I'll probably do a video on it. Tomorrow, I'm going to harvest the lemons, the lemon seeds, and I'm going to plant them in a couple of containers and then we'll wait and see what happens. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And some of these seeds, these pepper seeds, I'm going to see how long it takes them to germinate, but if my memory serves me correct, I need to be trying to plant some of these and like beginning to mid-January. Um, for me, not you, Chef, a lemon for Mama Ray Ray tree. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but if I if I get one going and I send it to you, are you gonna take care of it? Now that's my question. Yes, Nick Fix says that is so good to hear. I'm doing well here. About to finish crocheting, I had to. Oh, okay. I thought that was Nick's picks talking. I was getting ready to say, Oh, y'all was crocheting a hat too. Maybe I am sleepy. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm hmm. So, and Nick's picks has a beautiful garden. I'm trying to get Ola Joe to show us her garden. Ola Joe, the crocheting sailor gardener. <laughs> Ola Joe the crocheting gardener, cooking cooking gardener. Ola Joe the crocheting cooking gardener. Yes. LL no, but I built a shelf out of bamboo for my garden. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes. And that's another thing. Where is it? I'm going to tell you all something else. Um, no, you just nailed me the lemon chef. <laughs> and YouTube will give you a t <laughs> I want to mail I want to mail the whole lemon tree to you 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 guys too. Um all that Joe says one day. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be my next project is seeing how this I'm gonna do the lemon tree. Um but I know I'm not looking for lemons off of it. I'm going to actually buy me a couple of citrus trees that are already, you know, two or three years in so that I can start from there. Because so I'm told me taking these seeds from these lemons it may take 10 years to get a lemon from the seeds. But just even if it starts growing. And by the way, all the junk, my um, avocado plant is about two feet tall now, but I have an issue with it. That only that one seed continued to grow. So I know it needs two to bear fruit. So I'm going to buy another avocado and I'm going to start it again. And then when it roots, I'm going to take it out there and stick it in that same pot. And even though it's slower or something, maybe it'll catch up or maybe I don't know. I just hope that'll work. That's my plan, to do two or three more, stick them in that same pot when they get their roots. It's better to buy a small lemon plant. Yes, that's what I'm going to do, but I just want to see if I can start it from the seeds. That's more of an experiment and a learning project. Um, I don't know why my computer keeps hibernating. Um, I just started four new avocado seeds, still can't get them to sprout. Uh, it took some months for, before mine sprouted, but I am going to go, next time I go out to the store and get a couple more avocados, and when I get the pips out of them, I'm gonna start them indoors. Uh, but next picks, I got mine to start rooting once I started changing the water on them every day with hot water. Every day I poured the water off and I put hot water on them and they started rooting. And the one did really good. Um, we'll do it again. I'm glad it's growing avocado. Yes, I'm going to do it again and put that one in there. Yes, yes, yes. I am surprised that it's still growing so well. It's a nice size. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
So anybody have a fall garden? What do you guys, anybody out here growing anything for the fall? I planted some, um, oh my God, I planted some garlic the other day. <sighs> Hoping that it wouldn't do anything, but, you know, work, work, do its thing over winter and then start sprouting. It's about this tall now, and I planted it about last week. It rained here. The temperatures got up high, and that garlic, it just shot up. It just shot up. I also planted some shallots, and I haven't seen hair nor hide of those. They have not stored anything. I do have my turnip greens growing. Um, I'm going to do collards. I'm not a fan of turnip greens, just in general, but that's what I had the seeds for, so I planted it. I have some uh, Malabar spinach starting and flowers starting on my cherry tomato. Ooh, yes. Now, that's the one tomato I did not have this past summer that uh, I absolutely love. I love, 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 love cherry tomatoes. I like them in salads. I like to roast them a little bit. And I like to just snack on them. I guess because they're so small, you know, pop them in your mouth like a grape. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I would like to have some red ones and some orange or yellow, whatever the other color is. Both of those. Um, they are about the only tomatoes that grow way down here. Oh, really? Okay. I got about 60 or 70 tomatoes this past summer, so I know what to do for the tomatoes. And the biggest thing was... I watered them, and I know the watering situation is kind of different year to year because some years you'll get more rain than others. We didn't get a lot of rain this year, but I only watered them twice through the entire summer. I watered those plants twice, and they produced. Yes, Dennis says, I grew some yellow cherry to Yes, yellow cherry tomatoes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, next year, I'm going to have quite a few mustard greens. I love mustard greens, and I love collards. I'm not a fan of turnips. But that's what I had, so that's, like I said, that's what I planted. And I love um, Brussels sprouts, I've heard, are hard to grow. I really love them. I like cabbage a lot, too. Um, I have turnips, garlic, spinach, and carrots still growing. Ooh, you got good stuff going. Yes. Nothing but rain for the last month. It has slowed everything. Only just now drying out. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what I need to plant more of. And I might do that. I might do that this weekend. I need to go and clean up my um, strawberries. And I might plant some. It was my first time. That's awesome. Yes, last year was my first time um, starting my garden. I started it last. Yeah, we're still in 2020. 20, summer of 2019. Spring of 2019. Spring of 2019. Yes. How can I grow fast food? <laughs> But you know what, Fast Bear? I took a regular potato. It was a Yukon Gold. I took a regular white potato that had started having the little eyes on them, you know, the little roots. And I took it and I stuck it out there in the ground. I literally forgot I did this. And all of a sudden, all this green started coming up. And I'm like, what is this? I didn't know if it was kale or spinach. I didn't know what I planted. I had forgot about that. One, to, one potato. All I did was walk outside, put it in the dirt, and walked away. Lo and behold, I had about five or six uh, potatoes out there from that one potato. So that's how you can grow it fast. And it happened in about 60 days, all total. All my uh, tomatoes died. Going to have to start. Oh, oh no. Yes. How do I grow a McDonald's in my backyard? <laughs> I don't know how you're going to grow one. You might build one. You might build one. And I am going to 
start a sweet potato inside so I can get the slips and then I'm going to get some of those and I'm going to grow those too. That's why I label what I plant because I will forget. You know what, all of y'all? What do you label your plants with? Because every time I label a plant, either a critter comes and knocks it down and out the way, or the weather wears my writing off. And I still don't know what it is. So maybe I'm using the wrong, um, I don't say tool, but the wrong um, signage. Think of a jigget. <laughs> what would you call it? The wrong material. <laughs> Wrong material to um, to write on. Yes, what is the best time to grow potatoes and sweets? Uh, you mean sweets as in sweet potatoes? I think the beginning of spring. I have seen a lot of other gardeners, seasoned gardeners, that have harvested theirs and they're trying to keep them at a right temperature over winter so they'll be ready to plant in the spring. So I would say in the spring. I was saying, so I use wooden popsicle sticks, so forth. So that's what I use. And I write on them with a, a Sharpie. And either the stick is gone or the writing is faded off of it from the weather. That's exactly what I've been using, popsicle sticks. I found some brass plate stakes at Goodwill and wrote with Sharpie. And it's the only ones I have had to, oh, that was a good find, Nick's Picks. My popsicle stick right, mine does too. That's what's been happening. And I go back, I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, some things that I plant are obvious, like a tomato, but <laughs> outside of that, yes, you should write on paper, tape it, hole punch it, and take a twist tie and twist it around the steam. You should write on paper, tape it, hole punch it, and take a twist tie and twist it around the stem. Okay, but on the job. <laughs> now that would work for a tomato or something, but what about when I plant seeds? There's nothing to twist on to. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> There's nothing to twist on <laughs> Or I'm missing something. Yes, I'm missing some. That's a good one, though, Ola Joe, for things that you can visibly see. But what about your root vegetables? How, how do you do those? The popsicles. <laughs> Back to the popsicles thing. Hello, Miss Joanne. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. Woohoo! How are you? You can use old Venetian blinds and a Sharpie. That way you can cut it to the length that fits your containment. Oh, sookie sookie now, that's good. That's good. That is good. That's real good. Janice says, wait a minute, let me go back up some. Uh, Janice says, I use colored plastic forks turned upside down with the points, with the points showing. With the points of the forks showing, like this is a fork, like the points of the fork showing, not the handle. That's a good one too. That's a real, see y'all got good ideas. Yes. He's gonna wanna say hello, yo. <laughs> yes, Fastberry, exactly. Fastberry says write it out on a sticky note then cellophane tape over the right so it can't be weathered. Yes, yes. Hello, Dee Myers. How are you? Welcome in, welcome in to the live. Thank you for coming. Do you have an unheated greenhouse on your deck or are you growing inside your home? No, I do not have an unheated uh, greenhouse on my deck. Um, yes, it, it, it keeps critters out. What keeps critters out? I missed something. 
What keeps critters out? Yes, D. Myers, no, I do not. And uh, I'm technically not growing inside. I do have my stevia inside because I just got it. I propagated it and it's getting ready to be winter. So it's too young to go out there. But I am growing everything in containers outside and they're staying outside. I, I don't have anything right now that I'm growing that needs to be brought in. My, I have rosemary out there. Last year, I just walked away. The, I, I contacted a local nursery. I'm in zone 7B, which is Charlotte. So it's, we don't get that cold for that long. We're, we're not like Nebraska, Michigan. We're not going to have all that. We might have an ice storm here and there. Typically, our temperatures drop down into like the 30s. Um, Sometime they'll get to the 20s, but even when they get to the 20s, by mid-afternoon, it's 40, 50 degrees outside. Even when we have ice storms, maybe, maybe it'll stay at freezing for one day. That ice is gone in a couple of days. We're back up to 40 or 50. So it doesn't get that cold here, but I have been researching. I have been researching how to keep my containers insulated because I'm never going to bring my plants inside. I, I I don't know what's in the plants out there. I'm not bringing them inside. I got a phobia about that. I, I just can't do it. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of people do. I'm, I, it's going to stay out there. My garage won't hold them with the cars, so they're going to have to stay out there. I would like to eventually have a real greenhouse. I'm working towards that. Uh, I'm saving towards that. I want a real like glass green, I want a real greenhouse, small but real greenhouse. Uh, so anything that I do need to take inside or whatever. But I have been researching how to do it, and mostly for containers, they were saying almost anything. What you can do is number one, wrap the pot in plastic first, and then in a layer of burlap. And on the top, you want to put some wood chips or mulch or something like that on the top. And that should protect your plants unless you're someplace that you're going to be having, I mean, like you're going to get down into um, single digits and you're going to stay there for a month. And like Nebraska, Michigan, those places that's going to get down and stay down, that may not work. But for where I am, that would definitely work. Yes, let me see. Let me go back up. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, to keep creatures out. Do you, do you have heated? Uh, Miss Joanne, yes, good idea, Chef. LOL. <laughs> oh, Janice. Oh, Farks. Okay. Mama Ray Ray said, hello, D. Myers. Miss Joanne says, some people paint rocks to label their plant. Oh, that would be cute. That would be cute. Next, you have to have good size rocks, though, for, <laughs> for a small handwriting. Um, the plastic forks upside down, a little toothpick sometimes around the seed. Okay, yeah. I like that idea, Mr. I like that idea too. It's freezing below and sometimes just over in Ireland. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't get that cold and stay that cold that long here. Yes, no dirt rule in this house too, Eleanor. Exactly, no, right? Uh, I can't bring my, you know, once they go out there, like I have the stevia in here. I bought the stevia online and shipped. And yes, I don't know where it came from, but I took it out, uh, released the roots some, and I put it in my soil, in my dirt that's never been outside. That's the only thing that I have in this house. And that's the only thing I'll be in this house. And as soon as spring comes, that, that stevia is up, out of here. Yes. Nick's Picks, Miss Joanne says, Nick's Picks, I have grandchildren and I prefer to not have pokey, th <laughs> pokey things around them. Not to mention some of the adults around me that shall. <laughs> Come on, Miss Joanne. Come on now. You're going to have me falling out this chair in a minute. <laughs> uh, that's cute. I like that. Yes. Chef, that will be cute, LOL. What will be cute? Y'all know I keep forgetting what y'all said. What would be cute, Mama Ray Ray? Uh, Ola Joe says, I just might try the rock I did. Just need to go to Home Depot or Lowe's for rocks for some garbage. Exactly. I like the rock idea, too. I like the rock idea. And I guess you could get some spray paint 
like white spray paint. If you wanted them, if you wanted all the rocks to be different, that's fine. But you could also get some white spray paint and spray them all white and get and then write on them with a sharpie and they'll all kind of match. I don't know why I want to match everything. I'll get some red ones. <laughs> yes. Wow, Miss Joanne. Let's see why I love you. You are awesome. Great ideas in your head. Yes. The ro oh, the rocks. Yes. Yes, that would be good. That would see. I know that y'all got some good creative things. I love that because I have been having trouble with that this year, especially in my. Uh, I have some. Um, I have some containers that are about um, three to four feet long. And so I have multiple things in those, and it really became harder. Now my round red pots, I only put two or three things in there, and so it's a little bit more. Once the stores are growing, it's more identifiable. I can kind of remember I planted this, I planted that. My herbs is my biggest problem, um, because I buy my herbs already dried most for the most part. Every now and then, if I make a specific dish. I might go and buy a specific herb fresh, but I typically buy mine already dried. And as you all most know, thyme, oregano, even parsley, all, when this stuff is dried, it pretty, <laughs> pretty much all looks the same. So in my garden, as I'm growing it right now, I have basil, rosemary, oregano, and thyme out there. Now I see the difference in all of these. But in the beginning, I couldn't tell the difference when they first started sprouting up. And I just found out that oregano will take over. So we'll find out if it's going to take over my container. Yes, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nick Pick says, Ola Joe, Michaels has some smooth ones. I used to paint rocks and hide them in this. Oh, okay. Miss Joanne says, don't overthink to rock idea. Just get it done. Lady, you can make it a crack. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. That is so true. That is so true. Miss Pix, thanks for that suggestion. I will go there so I can buy some of your... <laughs> oh, y'all gonna get in there and forget about the rocks. She'll be buying... Uh, she's going to be buying uh, yarn. The bad is, I'll sleep. <laughs> I know, right? Yes. Bad is, sorry, Chef. But I gotta go, I still have school now, even though we're on lockdown. So I guess <laughs> I'll sleep. All right. Thank you, Fazbear. It was so good seeing you, Fazbear. I'll be on more often around this time. So feel free to stop in when you can. All right. Take care. Um, Miss Joanne says, uh, can I come? I need some too. I know, right? Yes. They see, those are all good ideas. Good ideas, good ideas. <clears throat> And I am on the hunt for, this may sound crazy, but um, I'm on the hunt for a nice sounding, um, not too loud <laughs> wind chime. And I really don't know what kind to buy. I love wind chimes, but I don't want one that's that the kind that go clang, 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 clang. No, I'm not interested in that. It's gonna drive me crazy. I want something that's really very light and mellow and just, you know, very something like that. Yes. Yeah. YT has been refusing to send me notifications until today. Well bye. All right, bye fast bear. Yes. I need to put a wind chime out there. And I'm trying to expand my garden. Right now I have, right now I have um, four, technically, I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have um, 13. Technically, it's 13 containers because my ones that are like three or four feet, they're divided into three sections. So that's kind of like a pot each. And then I have the red ones. Uh, I just bought two more that are in my garage. I'm going to try to buy at least, uh, at least four more. 
I'm waiting for the store to get back in because the red ones go as soon as the store go goes in so that I can expand my garden uh, this year. Yes. <clears throat> Miss Joanne says, oh, the Joe, I love crocheting and sewing. My problem is like the expensive stuff. At least that's what my, <laughs> I know, right? Do some eggplant shit. You know what? I don't really eat eggplant. I don't really eat eggplant. And that's another thing. I'm trying to grow things that I'm going to eat. Oh, it just says, I just like watching it grow. What does it do? <laughs> Come on, does this, does this eggplant do something? Yes, Miss Joanne says, no. <laughs> I love eggplant. Really? It's tasteless to me. I mean, I cook, but maybe I don't know how to cook that. <laughs> it's just tasteless. I've never tasted any that I like. I don't care who cooked it. It was just, there was no taste to it. Whatever they put on it or the seasonings they use, that's what I taste. And I might as well have a spoon and eat the seasoning because I don't taste my mom Ray Ray cracking up. <laughs> Oh, Joe, you like to watch it grow. I'm trying to grow food to eat. Grow food to eat. <laughs> Period. Yes. It should melt in your mouth. See, I like stuff with crunch. <laughs> Making you an eggplant parmesan is delicious. It's soft. I'm not a fan of zucchini either. Now, I will eat it. I'm not a fan of it. It's too soft. It's just like a wet cucumber. <laughs> I y'all ain't seen me cook nothing like that on my channel, have you? <laughs> now you know why. I'm just a chef. You should cook it for a video. Other people like to eat it now. They do. I have trouble when it comes to that taste test. <laughs> Want to come to that taste test? <laughs> Maybe I can grill some. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll help. I and you know what? They'd be on sale, and they're nice and pretty and everything. And I look at them like I take them and I put them in my basket. Before I check out, they out of the basket. They find, <laughs> they find their way right out of the basket. Janice says, "Do you have?" any canning video. No, Janice, I do not know how to can. I am on a mission to get me a canner. I cannot find one reasonable on Amazon. I can't be affording that. I can't afford the ones that's cheap. <laughs> oh, the ones that's expensive. I want to can it so bad and I want to dehydrate it so bad so that I can learn to can. I want to dehydrate my seasonings and things like that without using my oven. That's Chef's next Friday. Yes, it is. Uh, maybe your son can test it on camera. <laughs> he won't, he's my picky eater. He's my picky eater. He's not even eating a hot dog, and especially not on the bun. <laughs> he ain't even a hot dog on the bun. That boy is so picky, oh my God. You wouldn't believe how picky he is. Child. Mm, mm, mm. If it ain't got sugar, he probably won't eat it either. Check out Homestead Heart if you want to. Yes, I'm just waiting to get a can. I've been kind of watching some videos so that when I get it, I kind of know. Um, I need to ask her a question because what I wanted to one one of the questions I wanted to know um, about canning was now I know there are special canning tops that have to be used. The little things with the rim. And I don't know what nothing's called. <laughs> the real ones with the little thing to come out but can you use any and I want to say any jar the reason I ask that is because we buy our honey local and they have these big thick heavy glass jars that they come in I save all my jars I also buy my coconut oil that way wonderful jars they're two different sizes but those canning lids fit on both of those jars and so I'm wondering 
can I use those jars as well? Or do I really need the special candy jars? Yes, she is awesome. I was watching her video this morning where she uh, led form of 73, sent her some um, sugar cane and she planted it. I watched that video this morning. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I cannot wait to learn the can. I'm going to be, I'm going to can everything in the world. <laughs> that just seems fun to me. And I'm not, you know, I use my pressure cooker to cook in. So I'm not really scared of the pressure part. Like a lot of people say they're worried and they're afraid of the pressure. But I'm not really scared of the pressure part or anything like that. But I do, um, I do want to learn. I want to learn. I want to learn. And you know something else I don't know how to do? Um, I guess because I just never, I don't know. I was never, well, I know why I don't know how to do this. I don't have a sweet tooth. I do not know how to preserve, uh, like for jams. I want to learn how to preserve the jams and jellies and things. I don't have a sweet tooth, so there never was anything I cared about. If I, I, I'd rather have a piece of toast with butter than to have a piece of toast with butter and jam or preserves or anything like that on it. Joanne says some joys can be reused, but some cannot. So you have to check that out. Yes, that was one of my questions I was going to ask her uh, because I keep those jars. And right now what I do with them is, but somebody, um, somebody um, had asked me, where, where did you get those jars from? I was doing something somewhere. I took some stuff to food, some food somewhere to someone sometime. Where did you get those jars? Oh, I just bought some local honey. Uh, but I use mine right now for things like um, I'm always making broth. I'm always making chicken stock, chicken broth, beef broth. I do not. If I have a chicken that has bones in it. Now, I'm not going to do it if I have fried chicken and we're eating off the bones. But anytime I bake something or I cook something and I have to debone it, um, I keep my bones and I will make broth out of it always. Uh, same thing with fish, fish stock, all that. I keep that. And so that's what I use my jars for now. Um, okay, Ola Joe. Yeah, that's what I use them for now. And they've come in real handy. They've come in real handy. I haven't had to buy anything. You too, Miss Joanne? Yes. Yes, that's what I use them for now. Or uh, if I make... Um, like if I make tomato sauce, because if <clears throat> my harvest this year for my tomatoes did not come in all at the same time. But if they had, there's no way two people was going to eat 60 tomatoes fast enough. I would have turned my tomatoes into tomato sauce uh, and freeze them and freeze it. You just have to be sure to freeze it the right way when you're using those jars so the jars won't crack. But... Um, that's what I'm doing with mine. And so far, so good. So far, so good. Yes, 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 yes. So guys, you know, I came over here and it was all about the gardening tools. And uh, Mix Fix says, got to run show. All right, thank you so much. I'm not going to be on here too much longer. Thank you so much, Mix Fix. I'll see you next time. I um, So don't forget to use the alcohol on your tools make sure they're nice and clean for the next time i just try to keep a rag with me in my bag sometimes i either use paper towel pour a little alcohol on them and wipe them off real quick make sure they dry it off so i won't contaminate anything so i will not contaminate anything because then you're really wasting your time if you if you cross contaminating going from one thing to the next yes mm-hmm Yes, yes, yes. And guys, don't forget to check out my shirts, my merch. I got mugs. I got coffee mugs. I got t-shirts. I got all kind of stuff. And the link is on my community tab. Oh, if my computer hibernates on me one more time. Come on, computer. Hello, Marlon. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in to the live. Thank you for coming. How are you? Haven't seen you in a while. How you doing, Marlon? I hope everything is wonderful for you. Janice says, uh, try water bath canning first. No special tools. Just a pot, a towel, in the bottom. Oh, okay. 
So you can preserve things the same? Does it preserve things the same? Or what is the biggest difference between the water bath canning and, and pressure canning? I mean, obviously pressure versus no pressure, but <laughs> I mean the end result. <laughs> oh, Marla's still in the ads. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, I always wondered that. Um, jelly, low acid food. Oh, okay. I'm doing good, Marlon. I'm doing absolutely good. I'm going to look into that water bath canning then. I'm going to see about that. I can see you now. Yay! How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> Welcome in, welcome in, Marla. Thank you so much for coming. How have you been? Yes, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes. Good to see you, my friend. Blessings to you. Yes, it is. It is. Yes. I'm going to start coming on live more often on container crops. I've been doing lives. I've been doing live cooking demos. I did one yesterday. On Chef and More, where I made sticky buns. Uh, I made caramel and pecan sticky buns yesterday over on uh, Chef and More. So I've been trying to do cooking videos over there and, uh, of course, gardening and chatting over here. Well, of course, I chat over there too, but <laughs> I just go on live and say, no talking. <laughs> made strawberry and pineapple jam. Oh, wow. That sounds delicious. Chef, you got a nice crowd tonight. I'm having a good... Yes, I do. I usually get a good crowd over here. Yes, yes, yes. I do. I had a real good crowd over here tonight. Yes. And I love it when I have quite a few people that actually garden, too, that come in. Marlon, you had mentioned that you was going to try to start growing something. Did you ever start growing something or think about something you wanted to start growing? Yes. Thank you all for being here, he says. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, because you had mentioned to me that you wanted to start um, growing something. When I did my new intro, when I said, if you can put it in a pot, what did I say? If you can... <laughs> Anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. That's what I said. Yes, I got actually have that saying is on my mug. Anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. And it's true. Anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. Everything may not grow in a container, but there's a world of things that can. And just about everything that can grow in the ground can grow in the plant in a uh, container. Yes. Some form of it, like a like big fruit trees, you get the dwarf size, and they will grow in containers. Chef, look at Marlon. Come on in here working. You got the best. I do have the best mods on the planet. I know he walked in the door working it. Yes, he did. Yes. My wife is uh, growing a plant in a container. All right. What kind of plant is she growing? That's awesome. Yes. What kind of plant is she growing? Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, whatever it is, when you taste it the first time, that's going to hook you all for life. That's what happened to me. It was um, my rosemary. That was the first thing that I grew and harvested. So. And I think, I don't know if I was cooking steak or pork chops or whatever I was cooking. I went out there and got some put in my school. My whole, I had like two or three sprigs of it. We're talking about about this long. Just three little sprigs. My whole house lit up with the aroma just for me bringing it inside before I started using it. Then when I started using it, the flavor in that food that night, I was sold. I wanted to grow every herb. That's why I have got to get a dehydrator because I need to dehydrate this herbs. I want, I need a whole herb garden. Yes. Thank you, all the Joe Crochet say You are awesome. Yes, yes, yes. I was hooked at that point. And I said, from that point on, I said, I need to grow all my herbs. Because what I realized was, 
I bought fresh herbs from like farmers markets, fresh herbs from grocery stores that's supposed to have just gotten in, supposed to be fresh. But when you really think about it, going from your house to right on your patio, your deck, outside your door, getting some scissors and cutting something off and bringing it in house, that's fresh. Because you don't know how long the store had. You don't know how long it sat on the truck. You also don't know how long the person who harvested it had it before they brought it to market. It ain't fresh. And that's why the difference was there. Yes, I love the video that you did, baking cookies with your grand. Thank you. Yes, that was so much fun. Oh, my God, she loves cooking. So trust me, she's going to be over here cooking up some steak and potatoes real soon. <laughs> yes, but I started all my kids off when they were about two or three years old. I had them in the kitchen. I'm like, come on, you gotta learn how to cook. Cause if something happened to mama, you need to eat. That was my, <laughs> if you don't know nothing else, you will know how to cook. That was my only thing that I was just, they had to learn. It was, that was not a choice. I didn't make it a chore, but my kids could fry chicken and cook hamburgers and yeah, I time they could reach that stove, child, they was, they was up there. Yes. And I plan to do the same thing with her. It might take me a little bit longer because I don't have access to her every day. <laughs> but trust me, I'm thinking now, okay, what else can I cook besides baking? Because I don't want to get her hooked on all the sugar and the sweets and stuff. So I'm already thinking, what's the next easiest thing that I can get her get her going on? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you post your cooking channel? Oh, yes. Watch me get it so it won't link. Just a minute. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Janice, there it is. Marlon just posted it for him. Thank you, Marlon. <laughs> I have the best moms on the planet. I couldn't even get my own channel in there before he got it in there. Thank you, Marlon. Thank you so much. <laughs> I got the best lines. Yes, thank you so much. There it is, Janice. <laughs> yes. Yep. I know, right? Drop the mic. Yes. There you go. There you go. I was still just look at me up here trying to <laughs> let me see. <laughs> Type it in. It's like boom, popped up. Thank you so much. Yes, 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 yes. That's actually my main channel. This is my second channel. But I'm gonna I'm going to end that. I'm gonna stop saying that's my main channel. This is my second channel. I'm gonna get I need to get this one up to speed as far as my views, as far as my subscriber count. Then I'm going to be able to say my other channel, not my first channel, my second channel, just my other channel. I only say that now because I started that channel about six months before I started this channel. Yes. Do you have a pineapple upside down cake recipe? I do not have a pineapple upside down uh, recipe on there, but I can surely do one. I can surely do one. Yes. I have a pound cake recipe on there. I have a flourless um is that the flourless one? I'll just say I have a chocolate cake on there. I have a pound cake on there. I have a carrot cake on there. I have cinnamon rolls, no yeast. I have sticky buns, no yeast. Apple pie, sweet potato pie, pumpkin pie. And I'm trying to think. That might be it in the actual dessert arena off the top of my head. I may seem like I have something else, but I can't think of what it might be. Yes, I love, please, please. <laughs> yes, I will. Absolutely, I will. Yes, I will. Matter of fact, y'all know me. Let me write it down. Let me write it down. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Lemon or coconut cake. Yes. 
lemon, lemon, lemon pound cake. Yes, but actually my lemon pound cake is really the same pretty much as my standard pound cake. I just put lemon zest a lot, a lot, a lot of lemon, <laughs> lemon zest. And I don't use vanilla extract, I use lemon extract. Yes. Oh, pineapple coconut layer cake. Yes. Mm-hmm. Those are so sounding so delicious. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have her cooking up something. And it won't be a bologna sandwich either. Yes, it looks like the applause feature is in full effect on certain channels container from Really? It's not on mine. <laughs> I'm supposed to also have the channel memberships over here. And I got another email from YouTube about two or three days ago that said that uh, look for it in the next 14 days. They had to put in a second request to whoever does whatever for the channel. And that request is there, and it should be there in another 14 days. I'm like, mm -hmm, y'all been telling me this for a while. But I don't have the applause button on either one of my channels. Do you have it, Marla? Do you have, does anyone here have it? Do you have it, Ola Joe? I love the applause feature. I think that's a really good feature because uh, it's a set amount. It's not extensive, and it really does... It applauds somebody. It really does say, I like this. I like this. Um, you have carrot cake? Yes, ma'am. Yes, congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Maturish and the indoor outdoor gardener and more have the applause button. You know what? My sister says, uh, who is Maturish? That's my sister. She says um, she hasn't seen hers and nobody's ever used it. She doesn't even, she said, <laughs> she's probably an actor. Well, if you saw it, it has to be there. She says she has never seen it on her channel. Yes. Nope, I don't have it. Um, Janice says, yes, congratulations. Who are you congratulating? Do I need to congratulate someone? I don't know. I don't, th I know I don't have it. It's right next to the uh, where the subscribe or join button is or then it's the applause, but it's right there. But I think you do have to go into your um, analytics and turn it on once it's on your channel. Yes. For your YouTube. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Janice. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I actually started to do this container crops on my Chef and More channel. Because I said, well, you know, it's all food related. It goes hand in hand. But the more I thought about it, the more consideration I gave to doing it that way, I decided not to because there are a lot of people. Everybody needs to eat something. And there are a lot of people who want to learn how to cook this, cook that, don't want nothing to do with nothing, got to do with gardening. So I said, okay, they're not going to watch any of the gardening channels and vice versa. There are people that garden, but they're not the ones that cook it. Someone else in their house may cook it, but they're the true gardeners. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and separate the two because I want, you know, I want the two communities, you know. So I, that's what I did. Applause raisin and loaf bread. <laughs> Yes, that sounds good. That sounds good. Raisin loaf bread. Yes. Now I love banana bread. I love banana bread. And I like I'll take that back. I like cinnamon raisin bread too. I like cinnamon raisin bread too. And oh my god, those sticky buns I made yesterday. I did them on live, but those sticky buns I did yesterday, oh my goodness, God. Those things. I could just take and send this out Panera. Those things are so good. They are good. So I was just, anybody like sticky buns, try that recipe. They were quick. 
They were quick, just a few ingredients, no yeast, none of that, weight, none of this, none of that. I need to put the recipe, I need to go back and edit that description because someone did ask me to do that when I was on live yesterday. I actually forgot until right now we're talking about it. So I need to go in and put that recipe inside the description and I will do that. Yes, yeah, so that was good. That was good. It was amazing. Yes, it was. Wow. I'm going to check it out. Good for my grandkids. Yes, yes. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. And you guys will see more uh, videos and recipes with my granddaughter in it. I actually have two grandchildren. That's why I did the bloopers at the end because the other one was older, cutting up. She's only six months old, though, so she won't see her for a minute. Uh, it'll be about another year and a half for you. You probably will see her, but she won't be doing too much. But this one here. And she's a little bit above her um, age, and she's a little bit advanced for her age. So that's going to help a lot. They actually moved her up. <laughs> they moved her up in preschool because she was more mature than the, than the kids her age. So they moved her up to where the three and four years old. She's just two and a half. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't never heard nobody moving nobody up in preschool. <laughs> But they sure did. They said, you, you, you don't need to be over here with these with these little kids. You need to be over here. So they did. I just hit that applause button for Matures on her birthday video that she uploaded today. You have to scroll from right to left on the smartphone to see the applause button. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to have to check that out. Wow. Now, she's had hers. Uh, she's had the applause button since they premiered it or it was in beta back at the beginning of the year. She had her since January of this year. She's had that applause button that long. But she said, nobody, she's never, you might be the first one, uh, Marla, because we were talking about it just recently. She said she's never received an applause from it, so she wasn't even sure it was working. So you may be her first applause. You know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm wondering if she's even notice it. <laughs> Did she even know it? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm waiting on it. I want the applause button. I want the membership button. I want everything YouTube has to offer. That's why we're on YouTube, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to check it out. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I didn't know that. I know, you know... Um, on the smartphone, or at least on the iPhone, you cannot see channel memberships on your iPhone. You have to be on a computer. Um, if you have an iPhone, they don't show up at all. You can't, memberships don't show up. Yeah, memberships don't show up. So I didn't know, let me see if I can see hers. Let me see if I can see hers while I'm on here. Let me see here. Ooh, I ain't been to her channel in a while, some because it ain't coming up. Let me see if I see. Okay, there she is. Let me see. Let me see. Matrice is my actual sister, for those of you all who don't know. Okay, so let me go to a video. See, Marlon, I don't see it. I don't see it. It's not there on my iPhone. All I see is save, download, share, live chat, dislike, and like. I don't see anything else. Scroll from right to left where the like button is. That's exactly what I'm doing. I don't know if you, I don't, let me see. I'm going this way. I'm going to see, put my face in front of me. Oh, you can't see that on my phone. You can't see, but I'm going this way and it's, it's not there. I don't 
don't see it at all. This is her recent video too. I have seen it on some people's, um, I have seen it on some people's channels. But I have never seen it on hers. She says she can't see it on there either. That's weird. No. Wow. I wonder why some people, why some you can see and some you can't. Yes. Wow. Do you have a computer? Yes. I'm. 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 I'm looking at the computer now. I can. Matter of fact, I'm let, let me look at it and see. Um, yes, I have, I'm on it now. Let me see. Let me see if I can see it on the computer. Okay. I'm over there now. Let me look, let me look, let me look real quick. Yes, I see it. I see it. But I can't see it on my phone, but that's okay. But I sure do see it, Marla. Yep, it's there. I absolutely see it. Yes, I see it. Yes, I see it. All right, guys. Well, I've been on here about an hour and a half. So I think I'm going to get ready and head on out. I am going to head on out. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me. It's been fun. I think that it's not available on iPhones, just like the joint. Oh, okay. Probably not. And I'm surprised because you see they make things available on iPhone before Android, but maybe not. Yes. All right. Then have a yes. Thanks, Miss Joanne. You have a nice night too. Everybody, be blessed. I appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you so much, Ola Joe, Janice, Marlon, Miss Joanne, Mama Ray Ray, everybody else. Nick's picks. I know the lot of these people are already gone. Fast Bear, but thank you so much, each and every one of you all. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>